Jeunesse. We are redefining youth. Welcome to our first episode of the Jeunesse Longevity TV. We are Generation Young, and I am Generation Young. This claim seems, at first, quite arrogant and pretentious to use the word young when I am 72 years old. Meanwhile, you will find out that I am not the only one and I will explain you why. Generation Young is a new way of life, a new vision of aging based on solid scientific evidence. Until recently, we were all convinced that aging was the direct result of accumulating years, and that death was the consequence of these added years on our organs, on our function, will become inefficient. It was what we call the chronological dogma, which allowed our society to divide life in chronological part and to be able to decide at what age we should retard and when we become an old person. It has been proven today that aging, aging has nothing to do with accumulated years, but it's a result of cells damage. It is inside this very, very small, amazing and wonderful unit that our life and our longevity are treated. We have at least 60 trillion cells, which are almost identical. And our ability to stay in life and in good health will depend entirely on the health status of our cells, of our nucleus, of our DNA, of our mitochondria, of our cell membrane. This new vision of life has drastically changed our vision of health. For us, I mean, for Generation Young, aging is the immediate consequence of cells damage, especially at the DNA level. But the most important aspect of this Generation Young is the strong belief that we are witnessing as actors and as spectators a fantastic technological tsunami. Genomics, gene therapy, stem cells, nanomedicine are going to deeply modify our relation with the entire world. Delaying aging and death will drastically improve thanks to what our scientists call NBIC convergence, which means synergy between nanomedicine between, and biotechnology, information technology, and cognitive science. Future changes will exceed in magnitude and in scale and even in speed all what humanity have witnessed in the past. Sequencing DNA, that is to say reading billions of information contained in our genetic makeup, will revolutionize medicine. Knowledge of the genetic characteristic of each of us will pave the way for personalized medicine just think about being able to heal every part of our body down to the cellular level. And very soon, nanotechnology will allow us to build and repair molecules. Yes, to repair molecule and even atoms. This is Generation Young, a generation which believe that today's science can go much farther than just treating disease or saving life. We want to, you to feel young as long as possible. We want to think young as long as possible. We want to love forever. And we want to be able to play with our grand-grandchildren while fulfilling all our dreams. Jeunesse, 
is one of the few companies looking to the future of technology to enhance longevity and health. Jeunesse's mission is to promote this new generation young by creating a system of product that makes all this possible. The YES system means Youth Enhancement System will provide a line of product all oriented toward nutrition, DNA repair, and energy. We are journalists, and we are Generation Young. Thank you, and looking seeing you for the next episode. Bye. I have some good news for you. Every day, our life is extended by six hours more. Yes, six hours more, a 25% increase. Within 100 years, between 1900 and 2000, we jumped from 45 years average lifespan to almost 85 years. Why? Because we have a better health. But what means having a better health? This word health is so important for us that we really need to understand his meaning. You know, health has always been a major concern of all societies. The ancient Greeks believed that health was the result of a perfect physical balance. For the Indians, being healthy means being in harmony with nature. The ancient Chinese believed that health is a reflection of vital energy they call it qi. The Western approach focuses mainly on diseases and their treatment. And with this concept based on science and experimentation, millions of lives have been saved and life expectancy has increased drastically. This spectacular increase brought our society to a new way of thinking not anymore based on treating disease or on saving life, but more on quality of life. You know, for most people, health means no disease. I am not sick, so I am healthy. This is wrong. All chronic diseases take years to become detectable. And it is our genes, our potential overweight, our eating habits, our physical, mental, and emotional condition that will affect in a positive or negative way our health status. But this is not enough to really define health. Scientists need one more criteria. How quantifying health? How defining specific criteria that will allow us to say, I am healthy, or I am in very good health, or I am in a perfect health. To quantify health, scientists have approached the problem in another way. They study how our body should react when subjected to changes or to stress. They were looking for our ability to return to normal and how fast we can do it after change or after stress. They call this ability homeostasis. Homeostasis is defined as the ability for our body to maintain a state of stability despite the constant changes within his environment. This is a scientific definition. But in order to understand this fundamental concept, let our imagination wander. Let's suppose that we all born on a steel cable stretch between two tower buildings. Our parents and their parents were acrobats and lived permanently 24 hours a day on this cable. To avoid falling, 
they must constantly reach a dynamic balance which will involve not only hundreds of muscles in their body but also all their functions and their five senses. Their brain will evaluate their strategic choices and their emotions should be managed if danger threatened them. And this is permanent, 24 hours a day with no break. This is homeostasis. Life is an ongoing battle between two opposite but complementary forces. On one hand, we have activating forces which facilitate biochemical reaction, stimulate energy expenditure. And on the other hand, we have sleeping forces which will slow down all biochemical reaction and energy expenditure. The objective is to reach a state of alternation between rest and activity. Homeostasis is the appropriate re response to permanent change. And permanent change is the core of life. Our body is faced with thousands of changes per second and quickly regain its balance. Losing this adaptability will lead to diseases and to aging. So finally, how can we define health? Health today is defined by the adaptability of our body to permanent change. This adaptability is achieved through a complex but coherent organizational system, which will result in a dynamic but constantly challenged equilibrium. This progressive decline of this delicate balance will lead to the slowdown of our body performance and consequently to the onset of diseases, including aging. Jeunesse, understand the importance of homeostasis and it's targeting every product on its ability to contribute in re-establishing the balance. For instance, reserve will help DNA to repair counterbalancing DNA damage. Finity will contribute to relentain telomeres to counterbalance telomere shortening. This is Generation Young. Scientific knowledge about aging is proceeding exponentially. And our scientists are coming now with solid evidence of the cause of aging. The first conclusion is that chronological, chronological age, the one which we celebrate every year, is not valid anymore. Aging do not depend on accumulating years. The second evidence is that our potential longevity, our chance to live longer, is located within ourselves and especially in our DNA. So what is going on in our DNA? Our DNA is damaged every day, several hundred thousand times a day. Yes, several hundred thousand times. As I told you in my previous episode, life is a balance between degradation and restoration and DNA is permanently engaged in this battle against destroying forces, which include oxidation, inflammation, and glycation. By the way, glycation is a very bad chemical reaction due to sugar consumption. Simultaneously, DNA is also dealing with external threats, environmental toxin pollution, and bad lifestyle. The DNA integrity of our 60 trillion cells will depend entirely 
on the end result of the battle between damage forces and maintenance service which will try to repair those damages. Fortunately, our body is miraculously designed to defend us from any attacks. At every level, we have specific ways of minimizing, avoiding, replacing and repairing damages. So why are we aging if our maintenance service is perfect? Well, this is true until the age of 40. After 40, maintenance service mechanisms are insufficient to repair all the damages. To understand why the damages are affecting our life, you have to know that every time a cell divides into two cells, DNA does the same. The process is very complex, but it allows DNA to be read and to be photocopied. But DNA contains genes which are responsible for manufacturing proteins, and proteins are essential to life. When copying is bad, some sequences are forgotten. There is a genetic mutation that may be responsible for poor workmanship proteins. Bad proteins are linked with diseases and premature aging. This is one of the reasons why we are aging and why we get chronic diseases like Alzheimer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease or cancer. Unfortunately, DNA damage is not the only reason for aging. As we get older, these cells will also lose their ability to multiply and this is mainly due to the shortening of telomeres which no longer protect the chromosomes. After 50 to 60 replication, there are no more telomeres, no more protection. At this stage, they can no longer reproduce themselves and they will go to what we call a retirement-like state in which they die or no longer divide. And then a third actor completes the trilogy of aging. It is the stem cells which are essential for the renewal and the maintenance of cells. These stem cells cannot do their job. If their DNA is severely damaged and telomere shortened, then our stock of stem cells will then shorten further, exacerbating the situation. In short, there is no single cause of aging. Aging is a result of multiple attacks on DNA linked with progressive telomere shortening, reducing drastically the number of functional cells. And the gradual decline in human cells and in stem cells will lead to chronic diseases, including cancer. Old age is responsible for most diseases. But we believe, in fact, that old age is actually a disease which has many faces. The belief that aging is a way of no return programmed by evolution is simply wrong. Aging is a disease. And just as we do with other diseases, we will create new technology to cure it. Jonas understand the trilogy of aging and will act accordingly. We design product like Reserve helping DNA repair, Finity helping relengthening telomeres by activating telomeras, Luminous Serum using growth factors as a byproduct from stem cells. And we are educating our consumers on improving their lifestyle. Because guess what? 
Lifestyle intervention slow down aging. It is a proven fact. My name is is not a crime. So why should we be all sentenced to death? Is death inevitable? Well, you may be surprised to learn that aging and death has not existed forever. Four and a half billion years ago, a single cell came into existence. This single cell did not age. It had the capacity to divide indefinitely. But three billion years after, some of the cells started to form organisms such as worm, fish, and finally humans. However, the cells were aging and their ability to reproduce indefinitely came to an end. And today we know why. Those cells, we call them somatic cells, contain a gene that controls the production of telomeras. And this gene was and still is turned off. Without the ability to produce telomeras, the telomeres will become shortened and cells will die. So why there is so much discrepancies in longevity between human and other animals? Let me give you some example. Have you heard about George? George is an American lobster which was born in 1869 and is now 140 years old. He was a sort of mascot in a New York restaurant and got released in the ocean in 2010. He's probably still alive. How come? Are lobsters immortal? Not exactly but they do not die of old age because their telomeras is constantly turned on. So the cells do not die. However, they are sensitive to infection in their shell and they may die from this disease. In Japan, koi fish are known to live very long. They are beautiful fish, usually white with red spots. Some have been given names, and the most famous fish, Hanako, who died in July 1977, was 226 years old. Some turtles also live very long, and one of them, Adwaita, from Seychelles, has lived nearly 250 years. There are even some species which has indefinite longevity, like the bacteria called Arthrobacter, who can be dormant for thousands of years and suddenly wake up. Hydra is the most unique species defying death. When part of his body is cut off, the body regenerates in two or three days. Hydra will be potentially immortal because it contains stem cells. In case of injury, the stem cells differentiate to form the missing cells and rebuild the missing part. If some animals can have indefinite longevity, why should we be sentenced to death? In other words, do we currently have the knowledge and the technology to live forever? At this precise moment, the answer is no. But here is what we do know. We can already reverse aging in human cells. What we don't know for sure is whether we can reverse aging in you or in me. We can drastically slow down diseases and the aging process far more than people realize. But we don't have yet the magic bullet to extend forever human life. 
So what it will take to keep us alive long enough? In Genesis, our generation young believe that we can live enough to live forever, which means that we design temporary solutions as DNA repair, telomerase activation, and stem cell support in order to still be here and still around to benefit from another Nobel Prize scientist, which may give us another solution for the next 20 years that will give us time to wait for the next discovery, and so on. Yes, immortality is just around the corner. My name is Reserve. Those two names seem almost identical, and this is, of course, intentional. Reserve is a Jeunesse product, and resveratrol is one of the major ingredients, but it is the not the only one. In fact, there are eight other major active ingredients. Cherry, aloe vera, pomegranate, green tea, blueberry, grape seeds, acai, and grape juice. Why all these exotic ingredients? Mainly because they are strong antioxidant. So antioxidant means against oxidation. So what means oxidation? It is what happening when we cut an apple and leave it exposed to the air. The apple become brown. We call it oxidation, exactly like a piece of metal, which will become rusty when exposed to the air. This is a chemical reaction which happens each time that oxygen is involved. And oxygen is involved everywhere in our body. It will oxidize everything, including our DNA. Fortunately, we have in-house antioxidants which are designed to counteract the destructive action of oxygen. But this is not enough to cover all the damage done by oxidation. This is why our body uses extra antioxidants coming from our food, and especially the ones coming from colored fruits like blueberry, acai, cherries, and red grapes. Those antioxidants are located on the skin of the fruit and they are originally designed to protect the fruits against oxidation. Reserve has an excellent combination of antioxidants, especially for repairing DNA damages. But for repairing DNA, Reserve must reach DNA and the biggest obstacle is crossing the cell's membrane, very few ingredients are able to do so. It has been proven that reserve has the ability to cross the cell's membrane. The CAP-E test measures the antioxidant potential of a natural product. It is designed to find out if those antioxidants can penetrate and protect cells from oxidative damage. Reserve has obtained a remarkable CAP or CAP-E score of 37.1 units per cubic centimeter, which is by far above standard. You understand now why Reserve is repairing DNA damage, but this is not the only feature of Reserve. Reserve is improving our longevity and I will show you how. Do you know that if we eat less, we can live longer? If you eat 40% less in terms of calories, you may live 30% more. And this is a proven scientific test or scientific fact tested all over the world. Why does calorie restriction increase longevity? 
To understand why, let's go to the fascinating world of genetic. You know, we have between 20 and 30,000 genes located in each of our 46 chromosomes. Those genes are holding the secret codes for manufacturing thousands of different proteins that we need for growing, working, thinking, and surviving. All genes are not activated at the same time. In fact, only 10% are working at the same time. The others are dormant and will wake up upon special needs. Some will stay dormant all our life. Yes, <laughs> all our life, unless we are in danger. When our life is threatened, some genes called survival gene will suddenly wake up. Especially genes called sirtuin, which in turn will activate the production of specific protein enzymes called sirtuin enzymes. And guess what will happen? Those enzymes will boost all our function and system, cardiovascular, immune, brain system, lung, digestive, and so on. But the most interesting is that those enzymes will enhance the stability of the DNA and suppress the formation of abnormal DNA. And this is good for longevity. Starving or eating 40% calorie less is considered as a threat and will automatically activate sirtuin genes. This is why calorie restriction enhances longevity by protecting all our function. <laughs> but starving all your life is not fun and not realistic for most of us. This is why scientists were looking for something that can mimic calorie restriction without having to starve. They found it in red wine. Red wine contains polyphenols. Polyphenols are molecules which give you the red to the red wine, the dark brown to chocolate, the green to the green teas, grapes, apple, onion, peanuts, berry, and many other fr fruit and vegetable are loaded with polyphenols. And resveratrol is one of those molecules found in high concentration in the skin of the red grapes. And it's playing a major role in longevity. Those molecules can activate the sirtuin gene in the absence of calorie restriction to help repairing genes and then increasing longevity. So what are the health benefits of reserve? Reserve increase endurance. Reserve increase the number of energy pro producing mitochondria in muscle cells. It also enhances muscle strength and reduces muscle fatigue along with improved coordination. Reserve enhance memory. Much the same way that we lose strength, endurance in our muscle as we age, we also see a gradual decline in memory, reaction time, and processing of information. Reserve enhance memory and reaction time. Reserve improve fat regulation. In 2005, scientists in Canada and in Chile discovered that resveratrol appears to counter the effects of elevated fatty acid and also slowed sugar absorption in the intestines. Reserve improve resistance against chronic inflammation and chronic inflammation in one is one of the leading cause of DNA damage. Resveratrol has been proven to reduce inflammation at the cellular level. How can we take reserve? Reserve is presented in a gel form 
And this gel delivery system is very important because it's increased the bioavailability of our ingredient, which means better diffusion to the digestive barrier. You can take from one to three sachets a day at any moment of the day. To make a long story short, resveratrol is a great discovery. And as so often happened with great discovery, the answers turn out to be based on a very simple idea. By taking natural plant molecules, we can switch genes on and off to benefit from their anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antibacterial, and blood sugar normalizing effect, and at the end, live longer. Reserve is a very strong cellular level protection against oxidation and free radical damages. By mimicking calorie restriction, it will activate sirtuin genes and therefore protect our body against age-related diseases. It will give us more immediate energy, better focus and concentration. Reserve is great for every one of us. Have you heard about telomeres? Probably not. Telomeres are the end of the chromosome. They are here to protect our DNA. They are also made of DNA, but the sequences which are forming telomeres are repetitive DNA which means that they are made of the same genetic codes repeated 2,000 times. One way to describe telomeres is to compare them to aglets. You know, these plastic caps at the end of the shoelaces. Just as aglets keep shoelaces from falling apart at the end, telomeres keep the ends of DNA from fraying. So why this DNA is made of repetitive DNA sequences? What for? When cells divide and multiply, it is very important that the DNA remain intact. If we lose portion of the information which is our, in our DNA every time it is replicated, human life will just be impossible. So with every replication of our DNA, part of the telomere sequence is chopped off. But this really doesn't matter because we are losing the same sequences of nucleotides, the same code. There is still another identical sequence. This is how nature protects the DNA in a chromosome. Meanwhile, after 50 to 70 division, the cells in our body reach a stage where there is no more telomeres to protect our DNA. So these cells cannot longer reproduce themselves. They reach what we call a retirement-like state in which they die or no longer divide. This end point is called senescence. And when senescence reach a majority of cells, we die of old age. Today, we can measure the biological age of cells by the length of the telomere. When we are conceived, the embryo has about 15,000 bas pair in its telomere. By the way, a bas pair is a standard unit of measurement in the chromosome. And the total length of a DNA strand is 3 billion bas pairs. So after many replication, a newborn have only 10,000 pairs in each telomeres. And we already lost 33% of our telomere length. In a sense, we start to die the minute we are conceived. 
when telomeres are reduced to 5,000 baths per our cells become senescent and die. We are losing approximately 40 to 50 baths per every year. So theoretically, it should take 120 years to get all our telomeres reaching these 5,000 bas pairs. This is why some scientists believe that the maximum lifespan, lifespan is about 120 years. And by the way, the world record of longevity is still belonging to Jeanne Calment, a French lady who died in 1997 at the age of 122 years. What a coincidence. Even worse, when a good proportion of telomeres are reaching the 5,000 pair limit, our immune system is not longer efficient and we become very sensitive to chronic diseases. Why telomeres are shortening in humans while in some other species they are always at full length? Elizabeth Blackburn from the University of California, Berkeley, discover why and with this discovery she won the Nobel Prize in 2009. While she was working on germinal cell, you know, the ones which are responsible for reproduction, she find out that their telomeres never shorten. And this is against a nature miracle in a sense that life will be impossible if an embryo inherited from his parent short telomeres. Considering the millions of necessary cells duplication during pregnancy, all the cells will reach senescence in few days and the fetus will never reach maturity. Elizabeth find out why the germinal cells has a special enzyme called telomeras, which is genetically controlled and activated permanently. When telomeras is activated, it will rebuild every piece of telomere which is lost, and this is almost magic, piece by piece, brick by brick. So why it is not the same in all the other cells? Elizabeth Brackburn find out that all our cells possess telomeras, but unfortunately they are in a sleeping state. Their gene is repressing them to work. Why? Well, it's still a secret that nature is keeping. But if we discover how to turn the telomeras gene from off to on, in all our cells, we may have the secret of immortality. And this is why many research labs try to discover. One of them, the Geron Corporation in US, while working on ancient Chinese remedies, discovered that in the root of one herb called Astragalus membranus, there was one specific ingredient capable of turning on the telomeras gene. They call it telomeras activator and give them, give it a special name code, TA65. Geron Corporation worked almost 10 years in this TA65 searching for safety and efficiency in vitro first, which means in cell culture, and in vivo means on human cells. This sold all the patent and result to a New York based company, TS Science, which is now promoting the molecule all over the world. So, what is the connection with Finity? Jeunesse made an agreement with TS Science to get exclusive rights to use TS65 all over the world in the direct sales industry and we included TS65 Infinity. While TS65 being the major ingredient, it is not the only one. We included vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B6, vitamin B9, and other ingredients as 
choline, fucoidin, coenzyme Q10, purslane, which is rich in omega-3, tocotrienol, and tocopherols. So what happened when we start using Finity? After taking Finity, telomerase start to be activated in cells where telomeres are critically short. At the moment when telomeres are longer than 5,000 bas pair, cells start to divide again and life is back in those cells. It is progressive as TA65 reach more and more cells. And if you take it on a regular basis, the process of cells rejuvenation will start. The good news is that TA65 has a so-called transient effect, which means that it will activate telomerase only if telomeres are critically short and will stop any effect when telomeres are long enough to induce cellular division. What are the visible benefits? The most important benefit is for our immune cells. They have been affected by insufficient numbers of functional cells and they will start to regain activity, which means better protection against bacteria, against virus, and against diseases. This benefit has been documented in several clinical trials. Then other benefits may appear, better vision, better libido, better fat loss, wound healing, improving bone density, better skin. How taking it? Two capsules twice a day at any moment before, during, or after meals. Benefits are starting to be visible after two to three months of regular use. Who should not take it? Children. There is no need for children as their telomeres are still long enough. Young adults, for the same reason, starting at the age of 35 should be reasonable. Anybody with a medical condition should consult his physician for advice before taking Finity. Finity is a unique product, exclusive to Jeunesse. Enjoy! My name is